Okay, so I'm going to go over a couple of techniques that might help you with your still life today. So you want to make sure you're focusing on your positive space, which is your main subject area. So it's going to be the pear, your jug and the grapes. Negative space is everything else around it. So in the background, so if you were to cut out the main sort of focus area there, that's what you would be left with. What I'm also going to do is I've got my photograph the same size as the paper, which always helps. I'm just kind of getting a feel for the movement and the space out with sort of around the pear there. I'm just adding in a sketch of the floor space there. What you'll find is, is my technique is I tend to do a lot of sort of broken lines until I find the right shape and then I'll make it a bit more definite and make it more of a stronger line. I'm also adding in the highlight and shadows on the pair. Just breaking it down into three simple shapes where the shadow is and where the highlight is. Moving on to the jug again, I'm looking closely at the photograph then back to my page. Now remember when you're doing the shapes of the grapes or whatever object you're doing, you might draw it and then move on to another object and then you go back to check it again and you think, no, that's not quite right. It needs to be rounder or it, it looks too exact. So you might need to change it and that's okay. You might not notice these things until later on. Once you're happy with your lines as well, you might want to just go over the lines and make them a little bit stronger, make them stand out a bit more. this section here I'm saying to myself I know that the ridges on the jug they sort of come up just above the pear so whenever you're drawing anything in your still life remember to use the objects around the one that you're drawing to help get the perspective right and to help get the size and proportion that's really important because it might be that you go to draw it and you've maybe added these ridged lines higher up then you go and you think oh no wait a second they need to be in line with the pear and you need to redo it
I've also done this today using a charcoal pencil just so that it's a bit clearer in the video for you. If you were actually wanting to paint your still life, you would just be using a pencil and making sure that the markings are really light.